Hey YouTube and Facebook. I want to talk about something that uh, I haven't heard a lot about in the magical community. Um, but that's just me personally. I don't know if anyone's ever really uh, addressed this. But I want to talk about initiation. And not in this initiation done by a group of people or through a tradition. I'm talking about initiation from the gods themselves. When I first became a, a witch, because I, I actually, I, I should rephrase that, when I first uh, acknowledged <laughs> that I was a witch, I believe I was been a witch all my life, but when I first actually started calling myself a witch, um, there's a guy that I knew, and um, he told me that, you know, one of your initiations is going to be from the spirit world. And I didn't necessarily think much on that at the time. But this was during the time of the harmonic conversions. And I'm not sure if I did a video on this or not. But if I did, this is an updated version of that. Um, during the harmonic conversions when... I believe this was in the 80s when a lot of the planets were supposed to align in a certain way. And there was supposed to be this big change that was supposed to happen on the Earth. During this time, um, I started having a lot of psychic experiences. And one of the experiences that I had is when I was asleep one night, and all of a sudden, I left my body. And I was in my room, and there was a being in my room. He must have been like seven feet tall. And I remember the fact that he was really tall, really thin. He had a robe on, and I couldn't see the being's face. One thing I do remember is he took his hands. His hands were like, like really long. It, it almost looks like something from the movie Nesferatu. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. But he took his hand, he put it over my head, and started saying some words in another language that I didn't understand at the time. And the thing that I remember very distinctly is the fact that I was not afraid, I didn't feel threatened. Um, I just kind of remember kind of just kind of laughing because I couldn't believe something like this would was actually happened, you know. The fact that I'm in the bed asleep, but my body is, my spirit rather, is not in my body, and I'm in front of this being, this seven foot tall being with these long hands and, and fingernails, saying some ancient words on my head. I talked to a couple people afterwards, and come to find out, um, other people have had this experience too. Um, sometimes it's more than one being, sometimes it's three. I think a lot of times it happens with, with these beings, it's three beings, sometimes even more than that. Um, I don't feel like it was some type of alien abduction or anything like that. It was not intrusive. Um, <laughs> there was no rectal probe, okay? <laughs> Nothing like that. But, um, I remember talking to a, a witch uh, who's much older and wiser than me, tell me that, you know, she's heard of this thing too, and that um, it was a form of initiation. So, I remember hearing this before, and never experienced it, you know, before this, and um, didn't think much of it until it actually happened to me. Um, I still went on with my life. Still, uh, I got. I think I got more heavily into magic after the experience. Of course, um, I don't think there was a dramatic change in my life, other than the fact that I got more and more involved in the craft. But um, this is something that I haven't seen uh, a lot of people talk about. So, in the comments section, and you know, if you've had a similar experience. Um, you know, similar to this, you know, feel free to, you know, shoot me a message there. 
because you know it, it is something that um, it's definitely metaphysical. It's something that's very much real. It was not a dream. <laughs> it was not a dream. It was something that I was experiencing. Um, I'm not the greatest person who remembers his, his dreams. Um, if I don't write them down, you know, I tend to forget them. But this is something that happened, you know, back in, I believe it was like the late 80s. It might have been in the early 90s. I have to look up uh, during the time of the, of the um, harmonic convergence. But I believe it was like the late 80s. And um, like I said, the being was like seven foot tall. Uh, I couldn't see his face. Um, had a black robe on. And his voice echoed when it was saying whatever it was saying um, to me or for me. It might have been, you know, just anointing me or just um, just some type of proclamation. But it was just, it was awesome. You know, it's something I'm glad I went through. I was not afraid when it happened. Uh, I didn't feel like some evil demon entered my room or anything like that. It was just... Um, an acknowledgement of the universe and just telling me, you know, my path for a long life, you know. I'm a musician and I'm also a magician, so I just found that very interesting and just wondering if you guys had a similar experience that I've had. Alright, till next time, um, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Um, until next time, love is the law, peace, Uncle Josh and Neb, and Live long and prosper. All right. Peace.